Hey, Hickok 45, do I look tactical or what? Okay, we happen to have something a little different in hand today, as you can tell. We have a uh, Spikes Tactical uh, AR-15 300 Blackout. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks to uh, Eric and NC Silencers. We uh, are going to play a little bit with this gun. It is a Spikes Tactical, you know, lower. Uh, it's a CMMG upper. Uh, which is the same upper is offered by spikes too. the owner uh, You know, it's gonna be on a longer wait to, to get the, the spikes actually, but it's the same uh, same get up and and uh, Got uh, mag pull all around stock uh, The grips the uh, backup iron sights backup polymer sights, right got all that on there and we have a primary arms uh, red dot so We have all kinds of stuff don't we so we also have a very short barrel, as you can see. This is an SBR. You cannot have a barrel this short without some special licensing, and that's what's so cool about it. Okay, let's take a couple of shots. Now, we're going to start out here with some standard 300 Blackout uh, Remington. I think it's 125 grain ammo, and it will be loud, so I'll give you a chance to get your ears on. So, depending on, uh, turn your speakers down. It is loud. Make sure mine are in. When you have a short barrel like this, it can get loud. Let's see what we can hit with this stuff. Oh, I'll try a two liter there. No, let's don't. Let's go on over and try the plate, red plate. <laughs> pretty nice. You know, I'm not a red dot guy, but you can pick it up pretty, uh, pretty easily. I see a couple of uh, remnants of cinder block there. Let's see if I can hit that. Wow. Good job. Oh, a propane tank. <laughs> oh, and there's one right here close up. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, I think we had a slight function thing there. Try again. <laughs> Killed it. So, I don't know, 300 blackout, we're getting a little bit of a... Uh. All right. Okay, new gun, not broken in. So, we're gonna try some other ammo. And if that was standard, Pretty hot stuff. Ooh, loud. 125 grain AccuTip. Remington Premier. Okay. All right. I think one thing we did not do was lube that bolt. Hopefully we got enough lube. All right, so you can see it there. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna got a Magpul gizmo here. I'm not accustomed to uh, locking the bolt back. So, nice looking. Okay, let's change out now. We also have we're very clear, so we're going to put a, uh, guess what, a can on the end of this thing. We have a Wilson Combat Whisper Suppressor. This is known as, at least their version, of a mini suppressor. It will not quiet it down totally, but it, uh, it will reduce the decibels <laughs> considerably. All right, get them on there tight. Now we have some subsonic ammo. 300 blackout. Okay. Let's see how it does. Let's go ahead out there to Mr. Uh, Gong. I like to hear it. Now this will not be super quiet, but it will be a lot more quiet. Yeah. Back thing. I think my ears off, I think. Yeah, let's try the red plate. Probably have a different point of impact with this stuff. And we're to hold it. There we go. Can't even see that thing, it's not red anymore. <laughs> let's try some two liters here. <laughs> nice thing about this is I can shoot anything over there and not damage it.
Uh, didn't want to fall, okay. Because we're talking about, you know, subsonic. Well. Cool. Kept holding too low, okay. Not bad, not bad. You don't want to fall either, huh? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Click. All right, let's see if we're actually clear. Yeah. Man, nice. That uh, 300 blackout, you know, we have done some, uh, some, some videos with that, and, and most people are becoming more knowledgeable about the 300 blackout. And uh, one of the advantages is, of course, just a quick summary is you can use the same bolt and, uh, you know, lower, and everything uh, all you need, really need is a different barrel you know chamber for the the 300 blackout uh, so it's pretty cool and yeah, pretty cool i have you know the upper myself and uh i don't uh have a spikes uh lower i thought about uh, uh in fact i was looking at putting a spikes lower on my 300 blackout upper about the time things went crazy and then you couldn't even find anything but i think it's gotten a lot better here lately but that is nice that is nice i think uh we probably need some lube. We might get by with uh, one more magazine though before it uh, it needs it. Let's uh, let's see. Where's my other magazine? I think we have one more. Uh, yeah, there it is. P mag, subsonic. Okay. Nothing like a a can, and it's still tight. Fun to play with. Again, with a with a round like this, and with a short barrel, a barrel that short, and with a a smaller. Uh, suppressor you don't get the 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 quiet level that you do you know with a longer barrel and a little bit bigger suppressor but it's pretty nice because we all know how loud these things can be let's just try a couple of things I, I, I can't get used to the fact that I can shoot anything with this still seems odd shooting a rifle round at close range though uh, let's wake up that propane tank again <laughs> Ah, I see some other targets here. Oh, you know what? We've got to shoot the paper target. Oh, yeah. Low point of impact, right? I forgot. <laughs> That'll hold up there. Oh, two liter. Mm. Another two liter. <laughs> oh, cute, cute, cute. Oh, that's pretty neat. And we have a watermelon before we run out of ammo that needs our attention. Oh. <laughs> oh, got to quit hitting the post. Let's go over there. Uh, I'm going to try that little gopher sitting in front of those three little piggies. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> oh. Really weird shooting these things with a rifle. <laughs> oh, cute. Yeah, I can't see that. All right. <laughs> and we finished on a buffalo. <laughs> I put one on him. Oh, well, I have to say, uh, uh, shooting a suppressed round is, is fun because it's, uh, well, for one thing, it's subsonic and it's about like shooting a powerful pistol round. And so you can shoot anything with it and fairly quietly. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've shot some 300 blackout before. It's not a totally new experience, but having a short barreled rifle is, you know, an SBR, as I say. And again, they take paperwork, your federal stamp, and all that kind of thing. To have a barrel shorter than 16 inches so makes a pretty nice rig uh, no doubt about it and uh that's fun i'll have to say enjoy that life is good <laughs>